Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Brew here, bringing you another Kingdom Hearts theory. Before we get started, I want to give you guys a heads up that this video will contain Kingdom Hearts spoilers, so watch at your own risk. Now, this is a theory that has been going around for quite a bit, but I didn't really see any videos out there talking about it, so I decided to put one together for you guys to hopefully get some more discussion going. Today, I wanted to bring up a theory about Strelitzia. As you guys most likely know from Union Cross, Strelitzia is the younger sister of Lorium, who we more commonly know as Marluxia. To further enhance her connection, Marluxia's powers consist of controlling flower petals, and the name Strelitzia derives from a type of flower. Strelitzia is also the name of a genus of five species of plants native to South Africa. And yes, I did get that from Google. What I really want to talk about is a hidden connection that is possibly represented between Strelitzia and Marluxia's Angel of Death from Chain of Memories known as the Spectre. In Sora's final battle, battle against Marluxia's second and third form in Chain of Memories, Marluxia is assisted by this entity called the Spectre, an angelic-like being who acts kind of like Marluxia's guardian, specifically in his final phase. This can be comparable to Terranort's and Ansem Sod's guardian that we see throughout the series. There's also a few physical descriptions that are vaguely similar with both Strelitzia and the Spectre. For example, Marluxia's guardian is definitely female. Not only that, but the Spectre's hair kind of looks like Strelitzia's in a way. If you look closely, it's possible that the Spectre's long strands of hair and tentacles could resemble Strelitzia's long hair and pigtails. Also, this skull thing on her head that kind of looks like hair, I mean, I don't really think it's hair considering you could see her hair underneath it, but if it was, it could represent her bangs, or it's just there to clarify that, well she's dead. Going off of more physical attributes, both Strelitzia and the Spectre have kind of similar sleeves, and if you look at a side view of the Spectre in Marluxia's second phase, it kind of looks like a Strelitzia flower from the side. That's definitely stretching it a bit for sure, but hey, it is Kingdom Hearts after all. Another thing that I noticed is that Strelitzia bears the X all over her. If you've been following Kingdom Hearts, you know that the letter X is pretty significant throughout the series. I'm not going to dive into the meaning and the importance of the X, but I do want to point out that Strelitzia carries the X five times on her body. One on each shoulder, one on each side of her hair, and one on her chest. And the reason why I point that out is because if you look at the Spectre, you can point out five X's on its design four on its wings, and one on the scythe. The five X's could just symbolize the fact that Strelitzia actually is a genus of five species of plants, or since Strelitzia was supposed to be one of the new Union Leaders after the Keyblade War, maybe the X's represent the five Union Leaders, having one of those X's specifically on the scythe to symbolize that Strelitzia was the one amongst the five that was slain. Again, that's probably a little crazy, but you never know. If this theory were to be true, I will say it definitely would raise some questions, like if Strelitzia is legitimately dead, how could she possibly be Marluxia's angel of death? And why would Marluxia be keeping her bound under his control if it's his sister? Well, the word Spectre actually means ghost or phantom, so instead of a heartless or a nobody, it could quite literally be Strelitzia's ghost. As to why she would be bound by Marluxia, maybe the agony and the rage of losing his sister somehow caused him to call upon her spirit, thus turning that anguish into raw power. And maybe she wasn't even bound to him at all. Maybe she was just willing to let Marluxia control her because she will do anything for her brother. It wouldn't be anything too new to us if there was some sort of connection here considering Kingdom Hearts 3 confirmed that Terra was the shadowy guardian that the Heroes of Light have fought time and time again. Just as Terra operated as Terra Norts and Ansem Sod's guardian under their control, maybe Strelitzia functioned in the same way as Marluxia's guardian. There you go guys, what do you guys think about this theory? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe for future comments content. Also, if you guys want to catch a stream, check out the About section of my channel to see when I'll be streaming. I'm Andy Brew, and I will see you guys later.